So there were a lot of negative, you know, comments about me making that video. One decision or one choice that I could have probably done differently in the past would have probably led me somewhere else. That is a really, really personal question. Come on, we're girls. Like we stalk our boyfriend's exes. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Please tell me that I'm not the only one, that I'm not the only crazy one here. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places makes me laugh. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing good. Today's video, we are finally going to do our q and I know that I asked your questions through my Instagram and also I think YouTube. And yeah, I think this is the only time I've actually had the time to actually do this Q&A for you. So while our little boy is asleep, I just kind of thought, you know what, this is the perfect time to do this q and I'll do it as fast as I can. I did gather your questions already on our Instagram. I hope I don't miss out on anything. But do not worry because I'm pretty sure that we will be doing another Q&A soon. So if you're new to my channel and if you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell just so that you're notified once I upload another vlog or video. So yes, let's just get into the deets. We'll get it right into it because of course our time is ticking i don't know what time alex will be waking up so let's get started first question and i'm sorry if you guys can hear background noise but our first question is what is the thing that you miss the most in the philippines especially during this pandemic that's a really really good question and i'm happy you asked this because i miss the philippines a whole lot but if there was one particular thing that i miss about the philippines definitely my kids obviously second would probably be my family third would be my friends and then um food so it's kind of like a mixture let's say mixture of family and food because I just can't get a hold of filipino food here and yeah that's what i miss most about the Philippines and hopefully this pandemic will end soon so that you know we can go home to the Philippines as soon as possible. Next question is Ate bakit ang mga Italian people is serious than Filipino? Like Filipino are friendly to their neighbor. So I'll try just translate that real quick. So she's asking why are Italian people serious more than Filipinos? Like Filipinos are friendly to their neighbors or to anyone. Well the thing is <laughs> I have no idea. Italians are known to be serious and I know that, you know, if an Italian is going to watch this, they're gonna react because I mentioned this in one of my things about Italian or something like that video. And man, <laughs> there were a lot of Italians commenting like, oh, we're not, we're not serious people. We are friendly people as well. We're happy people as well. So there were a lot of negative, you know, comments about me making that video. If you guys want to check that video out, you can, you know, just check out the link above. Up above. But yeah, that's also one thing I noticed about Italians is that they're very, not very serious people, that they're just more, I don't know, they're just more uptight, I guess is that's the best way to explain it that they're more uptight and filipinos are more kind of laid back for example if they have a problem italians would really just like kind of stress about it and be like oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness and filipinos are just kind of like oh it's a problem okay in tagalog it's like problema na nga po paglimahin mo pa what was i saying my husband interrupted me sorry uh just it's i'm Recording right now. That's all right. So yes, and Filipinos are definitely, you know, more known to be friendly and I think that's why a lot of foreigners go to the Philippines because everyone is just friendly anywhere you go. There is a big difference and I wish I could answer as to why, you know, Italian people are more serious, but I guess it's just the way they are. Everyone is different. Thanks. <laughs> Do you agree to that though? Absolutely. Yeah, good. And next question, Ate, ayo po ba ng asawa mo ng Filipino food or in English? Does your husband not like Filipino food? Well, he does like Filipino food. It's just that you don't see me a lot cooking, you know, in my vlogs only because I can't get a hold of Filipino food. But yeah, he likes Filipino food. Like we really miss the Philippines. We really miss the food that we eat there. His favorite is actually adobo. Like he said that he could eat adobo any day, but of course, you know, I don't cook adobo every day. The soy sauce here is just incredibly you know, expensive, but he does eat Filipino food. Next question is, actually it's not a question. Sana in the future, mamit kita sis, and I hope in the future, mamit ko rin ikaw. Mamit rin, ah? Huh? Mamit ko din ikaw. So yes, um, hopefully this pandemic really is just, just, I don't know, I don't know what's happening, but pandemic hopefully ends soon. I hope it ends soon, because there are people that I want to meet. There are places that I want to go to chart. <laughs> As if I have the time, hello, you have a baby, but hopefully, 
I will be able to meet you as well. Ano ng lasa ng timi green na inihino mo? Well, it tastes like grass. <laughs> it tastes like green, like literally green, like any green leafy vegetable that you can think of. It tastes like that. But actually, the first taste that I thought of when I tasted it was ano tawag yung seaweed. That's it, seaweed. Like it's the perfect description of the first taste, seaweed. Do you know any of Kuya Marco's ex? Personally, no, I don't know any of his ex. Stalkingly, yes, I know them. <laughs> Come on, we're girls. Like we stalk our boyfriend's exes. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Please tell me that I'm not the only one, that I'm not the only crazy one here. But yeah, definitely, especially when we just started, you know, it's just something I guess that girls do. Like, am I the only one? Yeah, I've stalked them, but I don't know any of them personally. Cha moms, mas challenging bang maging isang Pinay, isang Pinay, isang nanay sa Pinas o dito sa Italia? So in English, she's asking, is it more challenging to be a mother in the Philippines than in Italy? And to answer your question, it is definitely more challenging here in Italy. And I know I brought this up in my vlogs quite a few times. And the only reason is because you are really hands-on here on on Italy. In Italy. In Italy, you are just really focused on your baby because there's no one to help you. Unless, you know, your family's here. Compared to the Philippines where you can have your family around, you know, usually in the Philippines, you live next door to your family or maybe you live with your family. Here in Italy, they're really, it's just the way they are. I mean, they're very family oriented, but the thing is, they're not the type where they still live together. Like cousins where they live with their other cousins or cousins living with their aunts and uncles. It's just not like that, not like in the Philippines. So it's challenging in that way because you're more hands-on and you're just really on your own. And when I was like, when I was going through the first two months with Alex, I was really, wow, down and down, like super exhausted every single day, especially Alex had colic. Marco was able to help me the way he could. It's just that, of course, when you're with a newborn, the newborn only knows his mom, so he only wants to be with me. It was very, very challenging. The most challenging thing I've ever experienced because my kids in the Philippines weren't like this. So yeah, they never had colic or gas or something like that. To be a mother in Italy is very challenging. Next question is how how long is the flight from the Philippines to Italy? So if I can remember well, I think it really depends on the airline that you choose. Did you see Alex is crying? No, he's not crying. From what I remember, I think it takes around 18 hours or 22, something like that. The first time we flew here, I think it took 22 hours. We took Turkish airline. Uh, we had a layover of around an hour and a half or something. Next time we went to the Philippines, which was like two years ago, we took Qatar Airlines, which took around probably around the same time. And the layover was also, yeah, around Around that time so we always choose a layover which is like really short an hour an hour and a half two hours because we just don't like staying at the airport i guess what was the most stupid thing you've ever done that is a really really personal question but the most stupid thing that i've ever done there are so many uh, let me just think i can't think of any particular thing to be honest i know that i've done a lot of stupid things especially when I was young, um, probably, I have no idea. I'll get back to you on that one. I just can't think right now. I just can't think on the spot like that. So definitely there are stupid things, stupid decisions I've done in my life, of course. Few moments later. All right, so I've thought long and hard about your question. And I think that the most stupidest thing that I've ever done would probably be to love the wrong people and not leaving anything for myself. So self-love is no longer there. There are situations where, you know, you want a complete family and you do anything. So that's why you just want to do anything that they say. You just listen to everything that they say that you completely just forget about your needs, about what you want. I'm a firm believer that decisions that we make in the past make us who we are today. I believe that decisions that we make are somewhat like connect the dots and bring us, you know, to who we are right now at this very moment. So do I regret the stupid decisions I've made before? Do I regret loving the wrong people before? Absolutely not. Because I feel that if I made a decision to give myself some self-love before, I think I wouldn't be where I am right now. I don't think I would have met Marco, I think that I would be in a completely different situation. So for me, I feel that one decision or one choice that I could have probably done differently in the past would have probably led me somewhere else. So that is, I guess, the most stupidest thing I've ever done. But do I regret it? Absolutely not. 
Next question is what do Italians do when they fall in love with someone? They show that they love as someone. They're very affectionate people. And I mentioned this in my videos before that Italians are known to be very affectionate. They're known to be very romantic. They're very touchy people. They really know how to show that they like someone by touching them, by caressing them, by kissing them, by hugging them, just the simplest acts. And it's not only like in a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, also happens within the family. Obviously not the kissing part. Because they're very affectionate people and that's what I really like about them is that they're not scared because in the Philippines, Filipinos are really known to be like, uh, like you know, kind of they're holding back on how to show they love someone. Alam mo yun, parang torpe, ganon. Here in Italy, they really know how to express their love for someone, which I really, really like. And can you believe it? Our last question this is like the quickest question and answer Q&A that I've ever done for you guys only because of course Alex is sleeping. I don't know if he's already awake. I don't have the monitor because I have to use my phone for you guys. But anyways, last question is what's your secret in keeping your love for each other alive and long lasting? I think for me and Marco, our secret, it's not really a secret, but one of the ways that we can keep our love or let's say put a spark or leave the spark there or maintain the spark is what I'm trying to say. Maintain the spark in our relationship is by flirting with each other. I know it's kind of cheesy, but yeah, that's what we do. Me and Marco, we're not really husband and wife. We're like best friends. We're really more like best friends. We are, I don't know. I mean, there are definitely days when we feel cold with each other, but then at the end of the day, it's somehow, I don't know, it just, and of course, as always, someone always wants to join our video. So we have our little Alex here. Yes. <laughs> we always want to make sure that the spark is still there. And when we feel that the spark is kind of fading away, we find a way to put it back up. We find a way to spark again. Because if we just let it happen, you know, the spark will just disappear totally. And I think that's one of the main problems. I think, huh? basing it on my you know relationships basing it on my relationships before is that when you lose the spark and you don't do anything about it we'll really lose the spark it's hard to bring it back up so that's what i learned and that's what i noticed with you know marco it's so different because when we feel that the spark is kind of fading away we find a way to put the spark back up and in doing that we you know just flirt with each other we i don't know what do we do <laughs> we talk things out like for me there was never a time where me and marco got bored of each other i think that's one of the best things that i can say about our relationship and it's because like i said we act like best friends and i think that's really really important in a relationship you know to act not just he's my husband, you're my wife. So yeah, I think that is our main secret is that we keep our love alive by keeping that spark. And that is it. You know, that is it for our Q&A. It, Q Q it is the quickest Q&A, but I do plan to do another Q&A with Marco, I promise. Don't worry, I promise we have already planned it out, don't worry. But yes, we will do another Q&A with Marco and I will ask for you guys' questions again through my Instagram. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and thank you guys, thank you, thank you for always sending in your questions when I ask for it. Yes, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And that ends our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This guy is probably hungry, that's why he woke up, so I'm gonna feed him. And yes, if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell just so that you're notified once we upload another vlog and video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's Q&A and we will see you on the next video. Goodbye for now. Say goodbye. Bye! Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me want